Mark Kriegel, Jose Ramirez comes away with a majority decision win defending his two titles against Victor Postal. He talked about a little bit of hesitation. He talked about that he's usually fueled by family and fans, and he was those were absent here fighting in the Vegas bubble. What am I supposed to take away with this performance? Well, he's clearly disappointed. This is not what he had in mind. You could see he, he, he seems sort of deflated after the fight. If I were him, however, I would take heart that, you know, I had it 6-6. I couldn't break the tie between Timmy and Andre. <laughs> but if I'm, if I'm Ramirez, I take heart that the true unification, a four-belt unification, that possibility with Josh Taylor still exists. So I, I think that unification like this is a series of increasingly arduous test. It's the sanctioning bodies. It's the, the promoters. In this case tonight, he got COVID and Victor Postal. Victor Postal is going to make you look bad. That's what happened. It's what he said going into the fight. He said, listen, when, when you size up this fight, it's very complicated fighting a tricky, rangy guy who's a veteran, a former world champion. You mentioned after we got off the air and calling this fight something about the thought of that unification bout against Josh Taylor that you feel firmly Taylor would be the favorite. I think Taylor would be the favorite based on tonight, but, you know, it has to do with styles as much as anything else. I, I don't think that, that Taylor, who fooled everyone in the way he fought Regis Progre, is going to be as, as, um, as cagey or, or, or as, as in a curious way, passive uh, or, or as strictly European in terms of style as Victor Postal was tonight. Uh, Josh Taylor is going to uh, be a, a, a much tougher guy. Uh, I don't mean that he'll be a tougher opponent. I think he will be. But uh, he, he's going to be out there to prove I am, I'm the man here. I'm the alpha here. And they'll both be able to do that. Which in a strange way, even though he is a unified champion, a tougher guy, a, maybe a better fighter at this stage right now than Victor Postal, better for Jose Ramirez. I want to dive in on the fighter who started the night because Elvis Rodriguez, who Freddie Roach has said, he is the entire future of my wild card gym stable. This kid really impresses me, Mark. I mean, really, really impresses me. And I know the level of competition he's facing, but you can see things with him that tells you it is going to be a very bright future. He's now nine wins in and nine knockouts in. Well, it's early in his career, but he is big. He is precise. One thing I know from, from hearing what's coming out of the wild card is this kid has a real mean streak as well. You know, Freddie was really hurt when Ramirez left him. Jose Ramirez, you know, trained with him as, as a pro for, for many years. They won the belt together. Then Ramirez left, and, and we heard Freddie in the fighter meetings. He, he was, in fact, hurt. And I think that after tonight, I'm, I'm wondering how he feels – Postal, Postal fought him really close. Before that, uh, Jose Zepeda, uh, who he had, fought him really close, Ramirez. Um, so I, I'm wondering what he takes away from that. But he has to be encouraged that he has Elvis Rodriguez waiting in the wings. And it will not be long until that kid's ready. Well, we got a world title fight coming up next. It'll be Jamel Herring and Jonathan Akendo the next time we see you. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.